This is personality, and we want to eat some really great food that has great personality because eating is one of the greatest things in life. Hello, Brian Malarkey here with Health Monitor TV, and we are going to be making the best Brussels sprouts you've ever had in your entire life. I'm here with my left arm today. Chops. Chops is in the house, all right? He's going to get cooking right now. Fire it up, cowboy. All right, so what's going on here is uh, in every vegetable, every fruit, every protein, there's like natural sugars, all right? And so if you want to use less butters and olive oils and stuff like that, you want to bring out those really, really great flavors. And that's in the like, charred, the steak that you, you, know, you put on the grill and you have the marks on it or the, you're sauteing some carrots and it gets that nice caramelization. And the trick to doing that is you want to put them in there. You don't want to overcrowd the saute pan. Oh, man. Give me a little shake and bake. All right. So the key here is you don't want to just keep moving it around. You just want to be flipping and tossing and stirring and doing this. You know, when you put something on the grill, you want to leave it there because it's those, those lines and that's the natural sugar caramelized. You know, if you ever grill a peach to put on your pork, you know, you want to leave it on there. You want those nice, dark, hard marks because that's the natural sugars cooking in them. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> silent chops. You ever meet silent chops? All right. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to get that nice caramelization. Now at the restaurant, we, we're, we, we like to really, really take it up a notch and we actually put them in the deep fryer for a second, all right? We take them from raw to cooked all the way in about 15, 20 seconds and then we're going to make a really amazing vinaigrette. In the restaurant, we would typically make the vinaigrette in advance and then just toss them into the fried Brussels sprouts. Now, you can grill them, you can saute them, you can roast them, you can broil them in the oven on high, high heat, all right? Just as long as you're getting that amazing, great caramelization. You know, if you want to throw them in the oven, you would toss them with a little bit of olive oil extra virgin olive oil you put them in the oven and it, it looks really really nice all right so we, we've got it going here chops give me a toss we're using cast iron also oh yeah so right in here this is what i'm talking about right there we can see that natural caramelization that's going to bring up so much flavor if you've ever had like some steamed veggies that are just like oh gosh those are like more of a chore to eat uh, that's because they're just like blanched and they're just kind of boring. This is personality and we want to eat some really great food that has great personality because eating is one of the greatest things in life. One of, one of the greatest things in life, all right? So we're going to do this. He's going to char it up really nice. Again, we started with raw because raw vegetables have all of those natural vitamins in there. Also, when you boil them or you steam them, you lose a lot of the natural vegetables. These vegetables have no place to go. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go, Mr. Vitamin? Nowhere. You're going to go in my belly because I'm going to eat you and put you in my belly, right? All right. Give me another flip. This man's a madman. He just put his hands in a hot cast iron pan. All right. That's what we're looking for right there. They're almost done, and we want to make them al dente. That's a fancy word for me, and it still has some crunch, still has some personality, all right? So we're using cast iron in this application because cast iron gets really hot. It holds the heat, right? And uh, that's what we want. If you have a little, like, aluminum pan, you put something in there, all of a sudden it's pretty much just steaming them or just kind of melting because it doesn't have the heat in there. So this is what the best application for a cast iron pan is. Chops, do your magic. You can talk now. Okay. Uh, we've got a little garlic going in here. A little some garlic. Shallot. Shallot. Let's sweat those down. Sweat. For a little heat, we're going to go with some serrano chilies. Ooh, spicy hot. You like personality, huh? True story. All right. So now he's going to put a little caramelization on the, the serrano or the jalapeno. If you don't want the heat, don't do the heat. A little extra virgin olive oil. It's good for you. It's good for the skin. Makes you glow. Makes you happy. Makes you talk real fast. All right. Then we have some shallots and garlic in there. So he's just kind of letting that sit right there. He kind of made a little well, moved everything out right there. Secret to our anchovies at Searsucker that you can find in Austin, Scottsdale, and San Diego, California, is the anchovy. Some people say they don't like anchovy, but they'll say, then can I have a Caesar salad, please? Anchovy, it's the umami. It's that really uh, something that you're just like, what is that makes it taste so good? We did very low sodium right there, very low sodium. All right, so now look at that. Smells amazing. Your friend's walking in the door going, oh my gosh, you've been slaving away all day. No, we've been cooking for like three minutes, all right? Red wine vinegar, all right? A touch of honey just to add a little sweetness. We put the honey with it so that the, it kind of calms down and balances the heat, all right? A little bit of toss. A little bit of pepper. Plate, doctor. And we're done. Bring it right over here. Thank you, doctor. He's not really a doctor. 
He's a really good chef, though. And a handsome man to boot. Chops, all right? All right, well, you're finishing that up. I'm just gonna take a little peek at my, uh, my cookbook here, Come Early, Stay Late, available in stores all around or at any of our restaurants. He had a little bit of uh, candied uh, walnuts right there. You don't need to candy them. What we do is just put a little, with a little bit of uh, sugar um, and uh, just kind of toss it in there and roast them up in there. You can do some dry walnuts. You can do some chopped up almonds. It's just kind of nice to add some different flavors. He hit it with a little bit of lemon juice to really fire it up right there. Yes, doctor. Now, these are amazing also. Um, Brussels sprouts are the, the vogue, the in, what's a happening now, all right? So um, you can have these, people put them out for like little finger foods at parties, um, people make salads out of them, so many different things. You can grill up a nice piece of meat, serve it with the, the, with the Brussels, or you can have a piece of fish. But most importantly, it's super healthy, it's super easy to do. You're not frying at home, you're just pan roasting or broiling them in the oven. Recipes are available. This is Brian on Health Monitor TV. Check ya next time.